I probably was actually very well equipped to help other journalists see why talking to me would be really good for them and their audiences. And that turned out to be very true. And mm -hmm. I think that can be applied to any business. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and figure out what they need. And you should know what they need if you take the time to reflect on it because you're in the same business. Be that as it may, I just, you know, early internet, I went online and I figured out how do you reach radio people? And at the time, it meant sending them faxes. And I made these amazingly uh, uh, compelling fax one-pagers about what I could talk about in an interview, and I found a service to send them out. This all happened over a weekend, mm -hmm. and I started sending these faxes out to radio stations on a Sunday night, and on Monday morning at, you know, I'm in California at three in the morning, my phone started ringing off the hook with radio stations calling and asking me to do interviews. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. And it was literally changed my life. I wouldn't be sitting here today, right. literally, if it wasn't for Monica Lewinsky, Bill Clinton, and Michael Douglas. Wow. <laughs>